Hi everyone, I am at the beach. Yes, I've flown to Tampa and um, today I don't have any plans. The rest of the week is crazy busy wedding planning and stuff and seeing my grandkids. But today I just didn't have anything to do. Lexi's working all day and I decided to come to the beach by myself. It's 9 a.m. and I want to show you what you get when you go at 9 a.m. to the beach. You get a prime parking spot. And I've always thought that this part was so beautiful. Someone's leaf blowing. And um, it's real close and there's a park bench under these beautiful trees and uh, the ocean, of course. I don't know if you can see it, it's right there. So yeah, I'll let you see what it looks like. And um, this is just a beautiful little, I don't even know, I found this spot one day and there's only like four parking spaces because you're on a little street of beach homes down that way. And there's no parking on that side, but this side has like enough parking for like four people. And I'm the first one here. So, all right, I'll check. Okay, I wanted you to see the gorgeousness of this beach right here. It is just beautiful. Obviously, I have it to myself. I think there's one umbrella down there and one old couple sitting right there. But I could actually just sit up here in the shade and not do the whole umbrella thing. I don't know, but... Okay, but what I wanted to show you is this little shady spot, but look at these four perfect, perfect beach houses that look out at this ocean. Is that not adorable? It's got a sign. No, that one has a sign that you can rent it. But I've always thought these were the most precious little houses. And just, I mean, and this is their view. And no one comes to this little park hardly ever because it's just, there's no hotels around here, it's just homes. But if you know about the four parking spaces, you can come here. So anyway, I'm gonna go set up. Okay, seriously, best day ever at the beach. This guy's been trying to fish, he's not being very successful. Oh, it's so, it's so gorgeous and I just wanted to do a quick video and just say life is short. If you have an opportunity to do something, don't do like I do so often and decide it's too much trouble. I dropped my daughter at work at 7.30 this morning. I didn't have any plans today. I've got plans the rest of the week. I'm going to see my grandkids and my daughter, other daughter and all that. but. Today was just a chill day. Lexi's working 7.30 to 4, so I dropped her at work and took her car, and I was here by 9 o'clock. And it's just so, there's nothing like sitting by the sea. There's nothing like the white sand. All kind of, pe all kind of beaches claim to have white sand, but I'm telling you, Florida is it. It really is white. Let me show you a picture. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. But, well, this is a little bit wet from, it must have rained last night, so it's actually not as white as when it's super dry. Yeah, that was actually kind of gray. <laughs> but, oh man, it's so gorgeous and wonderful, and I'm so glad I came, and I'm, now I got sand on me. Imagine that at the beach, I got sand on me. Anyway, we've got such a busy week. Um, listen to our day Friday. Well, my mom flies in Thursday night, Friday, so I have to go pick her up at the airport. Friday, we pick up the dress at 11.30. Well, try it on, make sure the hem's right, everything, the dress should be finished. So we go way into Tampa for that at 11.30. At two o'clock, we drive up to the venue. We're gonna order the linens, you know, decide on the um, room setup. Look at the ceremony site, which is outside under a big oak tree. Decide how to decorate that. Um, look at the outdoor area where the cocktail hour is. That's at 2 o'clock. And then at 4 o'clock, we leave there and we go to the place to um, do a cake tasting and order the cake. 
so Friday is a busy, busy day. So today is Wednesday, and tomorrow, Lexi and I are doing tons of wedding stuff. We've got a lot of decisions to make. She only works part day. And I'm hoping to see the grandkids tomorrow. They started school yesterday. Oh my gosh, they sent me the cutest videos about their morning, their day. And my grandson is five, and it's his first day of kindergarten. And you know, you're five years old. What do you have to worry about? Well, he was a little nervous, and he was so precious because he said, I'm only a little nervous about the other people. Like, it was so cute. Of course, after school, when they sent me a second video, um, he had a great day. Oh my gosh, it's Fishing Central. Looky here. See, see here, the seagulls have been all around on the surface, so I think these guys think there's fish right here. I mean, obviously, there's fish in the ocean, but um, he's been working on his net for a while. So anyway, okay, well, I'm going to let you go so I can just chill and sleep and read a book and not do much of anything. So check you later. I wanted to show y'all the lunch I got at the gas station, and it's really pretty good. I bought this little box. Lunch on the run. You've got chicken salad, crackers, which I won't eat, a cookie, which I won't eat, but some little fruit salad. I have to say, this chicken salad is not bad. It was three bucks for the little lunch. I haven't opened up the fruit salad yet. But I brought my own chips, and um, how cute are these? Late July organic sea salt by the seashore multigrain tortilla chips, and they're gluten-free. So I brought this little bag with me, actually, from Houston. I put it in my suitcase because I thought I might go to the beach or that I would need some gluten-free snacks at Lexi's house. So I'm having my lunch and the chicken salad. Like I said, it's not bad, and I brought some water. And I brought a granola bar for later. And that granola bar is sea salt and um, peanut butter. No, sea salt and dark chocolate granola bar. Yum! Anyway, I better go. There's starting to be a few people and they're staring at me. You know, because I'm so glamorous here. <laughs> Bye.